Hello and welcome to EDN113, Living and Learning with Technology. Today's topic is the first topic and it is meaningful learning with technology. Before we start, I just want to acknowledge that Murdoch University is situated on the land of Wujak Nura people. We pay respect to their endurance and um, dynamic culture and the leadership of the Nuna elders, both past and present. The Buja, or the country, on which Murdoch University is located, has for thousands of years been a place of learning, and we at Murdoch University are proud to continue this long-standing tradition. The next thing I want to bring to your attention is that if a disability or medical condition is part of your life, you are entitled to get the appropriate support for exams and coursework from the Equity and Social Inclusion. You can contact them either by calling them on 93606084 or via email by equity at murdoch.edu.au. For those of you who don't know, my name is Maria Poisson and I will be your tutor for this unit. Um, I am on campus on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. For those of you who would like to have a face-to-face -face contact with me at any time, I'm in the 450 block or the education block level 4 and the room number is 410 but please <clears throat> make an appointment with me because I won't be there on those days full time. Uh, my email address however for anyone that wants to contact me um, about the unit is mariette.basson at murdoch.edu.au or alternatively q2067 at gmail.com. Uh, the unit coordinator is Natasha Rapa her telephone number and email address is shown on the slide. Um, although she's the unit coordinator, I am still the first port of call for any information, whether it's information regarding to how to study or about certain aspects of an assignment or anything like that. Please call, uh, get in touch with me first. And if I can't help you, I will either get in touch with Natasha myself to give further help or I will ask you to contact Natasha. Some more important information before we start with this week's lecture is that um, all Murdoch students are required to complete their online Murdoch Academic Passport or the MAP. It is an online module that includes topics like academic integrity. So um, you need to complete this by the end of week four. Now student, students can find the MAP um, in their student portal among their other units or it is listed on the quick links under the quick links tab students who do not complete the map will not be able to access their semester one grades at the end of the semester now to help you to find the quick links on the LMS interface I will quickly go to the LMS and show you if you go to your tab uh, your um, EDN 113 interface you'll find the tabs and clicking on um, quick links you'll find a page like this and at the bottom study and assignment support and tools you'll find into um, academic integrity the map and you have the online units under there the aim of this unit is to help you to understand the social issues of technology learning and um, researching using technology and the pedagogical use of technology. What is the objectives of, objectives of this unit? First of all, it's to demonstrate the understanding of safe, responsible and ethical use of technologies in a learning and teaching environment. Secondly, is to use a range of ICT tools with confidence. And then we get um, assess and evaluate web-based resources. The next one is collaboratively and individually plan, create, organize and publish information-rich, authentic and curriculum-based tasks using a range of ICT tools. And the last one is to explain ways of using information technologies as cognitive tools in teaching and learning. Some housekeeping. You need to have the following set up. You need to open yourself a, a Google Jamboard account if you haven't done so yet. And that will help you to access the class canvas on the LMS. Now going to the LMS quickly. If you go to the um, EDN113 
you'll find class canvas tab there you go and there's a how to use a google Dram, a jamboard video that you can look at first and if you then go down and you'll i'll just click on one of these um, external layouts if you click on join it'll take you directly to your jamboard now for the jamboard if you click on that one um, you'll find that it'll take you to a screen that looks like this sorry that looks like this and this is just the welcome screen and at the top there you will find that there's different pages now that if you flip it over you'll find that there's a page for topic one and you can put your sticky note there and answer your question or you can upload an image the next thing that you will need to do is make sure that you've got a, um, a google account to actually access our shared Google Drive. Now the link that you need as external student is this bit link here. Um, that will take you directly to our shared Google Drive. And the reason why I like to use shared Google Drive is I like to upload um, documents that you might need for activities or the slides for the um, presentation. I always put it in a PDF for you and I upload it to the shared Google Drive. If there's any articles that I found that's very useful or inf informative that's not part of the book list that will go up there too and sometimes I've got activities that I do with the internal students well, and they actually use it in class um, I like to put those or examples of those up for you guys too so that if you were to go into a classroom that you actually can use those too so it is to your benefit to actually open up a Google account so that you can access the shared Google Drive. So you need to look at the um, session guide for each ses session on the LMS. You do your weekly readings and then you need to um, submit your weekly ass assessment activities. And you'll find that under task one. I uh, let me just go to the LMS again and you task one. There's your weekly activities and you'll see that I'll go to external again. Let's go to this one this time. You'll find that I've done orientation week introduction. And by the end of this video, you will find that there's a topic one um, post as well. And in within topic one post, you will also find this, this where you found this video. And you'll find all the inf other information that you need. You can reply to that post in order to post your um, weekly activities. So where are we? In this unit we have 11 different topics that we're going to study and we are at topic one at this stage. Um, it's an overview of the unit and we're going to look at what meaningful learning actually means. Your essential readings for this week is your textbook readings chapter one and two. Okay, well, our session focus. The content of this session is what is a technology? What technology skills do I already have? Why are they important to me? And what teaching and learning framework can I use to guide my the design of my lessons? And we're going to look at the technology aspect is we're going to look at how can I effectively use search engines. So firstly of all, we're going to stand still and look at what is technology. A purposeful human activity for addressing needs, wants and opportunities in order to create preferred features like process, product, practical knowledge and know-how and the tool and equipment. Now in order to unpack this further, we're going to stand still and look at a case study on what is technology. So the next two slides, you might want to pause your video read through the slide before you go ahead and answer the questions at the end of the two slides or alternatively um, you can go to the LMS at the bottom of this the post where this video is you will find a PDF with the case study attached to it so you will be able to actually read the case study on there and then you don't have to flip back through the video to read the case study. This is our, the first page of the case study and, and it is about Jeremy as a primary school teacher and how he goes through his days and what's the activities he does with his 
students go through the, read through this the case study this slide as well as the next one if you read through this slide you'll find that there's links um, different links to different uh, that just gives you um, opportunities to look at what is a collaborative um, platform um, what type of on a recorded online discussion forums are there what is videos uh, LMS systems, data loggers, it gives you all the explanation for it and it gives you, or rather it doesn't give you the explanation for it, it gives you um, tools that you can use when you actually do those or want to use those systems. Whenever you see the stop, you need to stop the video here and you need to actually do the activity that's on the page. Once you've finished your activity, you can then go ahead and start the video again and move on to the next activity. So. In order to do this, you need to um, categorize what's been described in the case study in terms of um, process, product, practical knowledge and know-how, tools and equipment. Post your response on a sticky note um, on topic one, activity one um, Jamboard. And like I said, you will find the different Jamboard pages at the top of each Jamboard. Once you've done this, then you can start the video and go on to the next um, part of the lecture. For activity two, I need you to do another activity, but this one you can do later on as the actual technology skills survey is part of our weekly activities. Let me just go back there. If you go to session one, you will find the case study there and you will find technology, technology skill survey over there. So you can click on that one and download the or, or look at the case study or you can and you can click on this one and it will actually give you um, the survey to do and to submit on Google Docs. So you need to sub complete the survey and submit the survey. The technology skills survey and reflection. After you've done this, this is you do this for yourself. You look at just what technology skills did I have or do I already have and what is the value of it? Uh, what are, why are they important to me? And what technology skills will I still like to learn about and why? This is just the self-reflection. At the end of the semester, we're going to do the technology survey again. And then you will see what you've done, what you were able to do in the, before you started this unit and what you can do at the end of this unit. Now you'll find that our whole unit is based on meaningful learning, uh, on the meaningful learning framework. Meaningful learning means that we are learning with technology, not learning from technology. So what that means is it support situated practice in authentic context. And it aim enables access to and facilitate processing of knowledge, it facilitates co co collaboration and co-construction of knowledge within a social network, and it supports articulation, reflection, negotiation, and representation of meaning. Now, to make that even clearer for you, we can look at the actual framework. Now, the framework's got five elements. The first one is active. Active means that you are interacting with the environment, in this case a digital environment, and that you observe the effects of the in interaction and manipulation of the digital environment and to construct um, interpretations of these effects. Basically, if you want to be actively involved, you need to be able to do something with technology. Constructive is when you articulate what you've done when you reflect on your activities or observations you make sense of the <clears throat> discrepancies between current understanding and new observations and you develop complex understanding and <clears throat> engage with different thoughts thought processes and ways of representation the next element is cooperative and we all need to know what cooperative means it means that we are working um, the, together make the most of each other's skills, seek out opinions and ideas from others, appropriate or build on other people's knowledge, and we develop multiple perspectives 
and multiple solutions to a problem. Authentic means that we apply this to the real world and or a simulated context and it facilitates the transfer of, of um, knowledge to new situations. Intentional means it works to fulfill a cognitive goal. You think more strategically and learn more effectively and it develops the skill of planning. Now, when all these elements intersect with one another, then meaningful learning is occurring. Now, the next activity you need to do, once again, you can stop the video here, is to think about meaningful learning. Conduct, conduct a plus, minus, and interesting um, for PMI on the potential benefits of using meaningful the meaningful learning framework uh, work when you are using a technology in a classroom. Once you've done this, post your PMI to the page for topic one, activity three on the Jamboard. You might have to take a screenshot of it and then post the screenshot as a picture on the Jamboard. So the plus minus interesting, plus list the positive aspects of the meaningful learning frame, framework, minus list any negative aspects that you can think of, and interesting is list aspects of meaningful learning framework that you found, you found interesting. Now you'll find a plus minus interesting Word document at the bottom of this post that you can use to complete and then uplo uh, upload the screenshot of it to the Jamble. Once you've done this, you can start the video again and we'll go on to the next part. How to Google like a pro. You'll find a YouTube clip that will help you to understand the benefits and how to actually use Google to your benefit. And once you've done that and looked at that video, then you are ready for your weekly assignment activity. Now in topic one, this is due next Sunday. Your, I will always upload your videos on a Monday morning. So the Sunday before the next online workshop is due, you will have to upload your responses to the weekly ass um, assessment activity. Now this week you'll find um, at the bottom of the post for this week that I've listed the groups. Now you will just have to do find three resources, one article, one video and one image on the meaningful learning char characteristics assigned to your group. Post to the forum a 150 word summary of what you have learned about the element of these three resources and links to the resources. And this is a total of three marks. You will lose marks if you, if you don't add the links for to the resources or if your post is substantially less or more than 150 words. So a summary is what we are looking for. If you are in group one, you only have to find three resources on active. If you're in group B, the same goes. So you don't have to look at all five items you or elements. You only look at the item or element that is associated with your group for this activity. But afterwards, I would like for you to go and have a look at all the posts for the other groups as well, so that you have an overview of what is being said on all the elements. And this brings us to the end of this week's workshop. Um, there's my references. As an appendix um, to the PDF that I've posted on the shared Google Drive, you will find that there's links to the different types of cloud-based collaboration, brainstorming and discussion forums, videos, educational videos, and um, or LMS based tools that you can use. And those are the ones that's direct links to the case study that we've talked about previously. Hope you have a wonderful week. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Um, like I previously said on the introduction video, I am available every day. Sundays I like to spend with my family, so I might not respond as quickly on a Sunday as I would normally do during the week. But give me 24 hours to get back to you. I normally try to do it much quicker than that. But if for any reason I haven't come back to you within 24 hours, please feel free to, to flick me another email to my tutor0067 email address and I will respond immediately.
Thank you very much and have a wonderful week.